welcome to episode 53 of the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai, and I would like to wish you a happy Mother's Day, or your mother a happy Mother's Day. I am drinking a lovely Bellini that uh, one of my girlfriends came over last night, and she brought peach juice and Prosecco and put them together and told me it was called the Bellini, and I said, delicious. So... I'm finishing the bottle tonight, of course. <laughs> so let's get into the episode. Episode 53, Happy Mother's Day. Yay! Do you want to see what I got? Okay. Um, <laughs> so have you heard of this company, Alex Anani? It's a uh, jewelry company. They make recycle. They make um, charm bracelets from recycled materials. So this, the Steve got Stephen Rowling got me three. So the first one they got me is brass, and that is the Eye of Horus, which stands for protection. The second one they got, which is the one I really wanted, <laughs> is the Samurai Sword. Samurai Sword? Yeah, I believe so. And that stands for love. And then the third one they got me is um, this one right here. Oh, here comes the sun. It's in the sun. Can you see it? That, this on top, that one stands for light. So they got me love, protection, and light. Yay! So now I'm extra noisy. <laughs> I want to talk about the swap. So I spent two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, however long it was, getting my swap package together. I don't know how long you put into pulling goodies together for your swap partners when you do swaps. But I was thinking about getting the perfect package for her and was not really thinking about myself. And so I got it all together, nicely packaged, shipped it out really happy with what I did for her um, and then a week later I got a package in the mail and I it sort of like skipped my mind that oh someone will be sending me something so I want to send a big thank you to Deb Mom of Three I really really loved my package it was very sweet and thoughtful um, she sent me two skeins of shepherd wool which is from Stonehenge Fiber Mill in Michigan which is where uh, Deb is from and you can see the fuchsia color and this awesome teal color. And they are just begging to be knit together for color work. So I can't wait to do that. I hope that this light level is not going to be bad for you guys. I hope you can still see me. I'm not going to be back in the dark. And if I am, I'm sorry. Uh, so she sent me this for yarn and a really nice little card. And one of those rubber balloon things with an elastic on it for Roland. So that's fun. And um, a cute notebook, so that's going to go to work with me because it's the perfect size and the spiral for work. And emergency chocolate. She actually sent more chocolate than that, but I ate it. Um, and then some Goldie socks. Goldie, G-O-L-D-I, S-O-C-K-S, stitch marker. So she has an Etsy shop, which is that. And these markers are stars with little purple jewels on them so there you probably can't see them but they're very pretty i like them very much indeed and lastly 10 tiny snip no 10 shiny snails which is this really cute book with the raised snails and it tells the story it like counts them down and the snails walk all over the place so um she was handing it she said she's handing it over from her girls it was theirs and Roland absolutely loves it so thank you so much Deb I love it all love it all swaps are fun why don't I do more swaps I don't know but I'm going to so let me know if you guys want to do another one anytime soon all right all right all right and if you participated but have not received your swap package please drop me an email because I would love to help you out with that and make sure you get some deliciousness headed your way as well when I, I have lots of new things to show you, so I'm just going to go through them all. When I bought Rachel, who is my partner, um, her, when I was looking around for her, she is a big Downton Abbey fan. So I stumbled across the Amy Lee show on um, Etsy, and she does Canon Hand Dyes, is the name of her company, and she does uh, Downton Abbey inspired colorways. So I got Rachel. The Mrs. Hughes colorway, which is just a gorgeous teal, similar, more teal blue, a little more depth to it than that color, but a similar color to that. And then I got myself, because I 
don't know, I'm not really a gold person, but this just looks so intriguing to me. So this is the Sir Richard Carlyle, who is obviously no one's favorite character, but the color spoke to me. So I got myself this, and um, these were sitting together on the counter, those three skeins, and I just thought, oh, it would be even better, and it would be more symbolic of the swap if I knit the three together. So let's color work with those three. So that's new this week. And then I'm just going to take a quick sip. At the other side. I know you're used to me on coffee, but trust me, alcohol is pretty close, pretty close. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, and then lastly, I had placed a custom order with bird leg bags for two of her very large sweater bags. And I'm just going to show you the one or box bags that I like the best. So this is, I ordered this thinking of Roland. It seemed very kiddish and the fact that, I don't know, they're campers, there are these, but they reminded me of Legos for some reason, like Lego cars. And so I got this one and it has a cute raccoon as the pull and he likes to play with it. So it was definitely a good call. But inside it, I have something finished to show you. So I was whining about working on this blanket and you all humored me thank you so much and I could say that it's done yesterday I made a massive push to finish it and it's done so this is a quarter of it this is the let me let me read my notes graphically gray by Wilma Pierce knit with um, Lion brand cottonese which is a 50 50 cotton acrylic blend on US size 9's 5.5 millimeter needles in the color stone maze and then this is cherry the red bar so let me tell you what I thought about this pattern first up size 9's even though it is an Aran weight yarn worsted Aran weight um, it's probably too loose for me so if I'm gonna knit which I am more baby blankets I'm gonna go down to a size 8 second the pattern itself was really fun to knit so here's you know the zigzaggy pattern uh, I enjoyed that, but when I got to the end and it was time to do these finishing triangles, the gray pieces here, you could see, to um, make it a straight edge. So there, you could see two of them right across there. That was not so fun to knit, and weaving in the ends because each triangle is knit separately was a bit of a pain. Um, I also, my finishing is okay. I would give myself a mediocre. I'm a good knitter. I'm a mediocre finisher. So a lot of, actually not this end, it's the other end that was the tricky end. Um, the corners, because I figured it out after doing five, how to do it, how to avoid having um, holes between each of the triangles. But the first few I have holes between, so I had to stitch them together. And then these little corner triangles were not, I mean, I don't care if the edge of the blanket is zigzaggy. So if I were to do it again, I would leave that part off. Secondly, the pattern calls for a crocheted on border. I don't know how to crochet, so I did another applied I-cord. If you'll remember when I did my pie shawl blanket, I was not pleased with that I-cord border. It was too tight around the edge and it sucked it in. This one I knit much looser, so it's definitely not too tight. You can see that it's hanging down. It's not affecting the overall shape of the blanket but it does roll back so it's not laying as flat as I would like now hopefully that'll come out with blocking very very drapey blanket um, let me think about what else I have to tell you the pattern calls for 16 repeats of the pattern I only completed 15 because the blanket was already exceeding the length which should finish measurement should be 28 by 36 this is more like a 40 by 40 Okay, so 28 by 36, and mine came out 40 by 40. So I, granted the pattern is written for Cascade 220, so I subbed yarn, I'm a loose knitter, lots of things, okay, taking full ownership of altering this pattern, but it's, so it's 12 inches wider than it should be, and it's about 4 inches longer than it should be, which makes for a square, <laughs> which is fine, which is fine. So my Roland's favorite, um, we call them nanites, that's what he calls them, so we call them that now. But some of his favorite blankets are square shaped and they're better for swaddling too. Just as an overall having done some swaddling in my time. So here's my hope that I will wash this. I'm gonna wash it in the washing machine. I'm gonna throw it in the dryer till it's almost dry and then I'm gonna lay it out. And hopefully 
edges will lay flat and it'll shrink down just a little bit because of that content cotton content so we'll see what the actual fo looks like but this is what you're gonna see because the baby showers on thursday so i'm not gonna have time to show it to you again but yay it's done i knit a baby blanket in two weeks and a day two weeks and a day because i cast it on friday and then it was saturday night when i was like oh, i'm gonna finish it and leave it on my ends yeah so there's nothing like an action movie i told you this before i'm a sucker for a good action movie so there you go the baby blanket's done man i was also thinking okay here is some shameless selfishness since I have four more pregnant co-workers and see four more baby blankets in my future this year, perhaps y'all would like to join me in a knit along. What do you think? Is that something we'd, you'd like to do, knit along, knitting baby blankets of any shape or form? I don't know. I think it'd be fun. But of course, I'd just like company doing it. I'd like to show you what I'm thinking of knitting next. Excuse the lean. The uh, coffee table is over here and I hope I didn't just flash you all and if I did I'm sorry um 60 click baby knits baby blankets by cascade so the next baby that's due she is due Emma Sparkle that's what her three-year-old brother has named her and they're actually going to keep it so I think that's I love Emma Emma's just a great name um I actually named a cat Emma which don't tell them Emma's room is going to be purple and so this is for Jeanette and I was thinking that this would be a great blanket so I ordered I'm waiting for the yarn to arrive the same yarn the uh, lion brand cottonese because it's a summer baby and I don't want to use wool just yet so I'm thinking of doing the two shades of purple I have a light and a dark and her room is purple so I think that'll be really really nice I think the seed stitch will probably drive me insane but the, so this is the window dressing blanket with a peekaboo designed by Tabitha Hedrick. So that's what I'm thinking of doing next. But really, if we want to do a knit along with any baby blankets, I'm totally down with that. So I have a month until Emma Sparkle's baby shower. So a little less, a little more time, I can breathe a little more. But um, yeah, so that's what's coming in my future. I'm also thinking that these babies deserve super cute um, hospital hats, you know, newborn hats. They're so fun to knit, quick finished projects, and super tiny. So I might do that. We'll see. We're okay. Camera is still running. Um, so I know that I really, I think I've said this to you guys before, the Susan B. Anderson Rainbow Marley hat I think is the ideal hat for a newborn baby. So. Um, I loved having Roland's at the hospital. It's one of my favorite things that I knit for him. And only a knitter could knit you that hat. So I think I'm gonna do those for the little ones. We'll see, we'll see. Um, what else have I been working on? So I finished that blanket last night during the middle of watching Spider-Man with, with my girlfriend, my friend, <laughs> and my husband. Um, and so I needed to work on something else and I have been working on the goth stripe socks, so I guess we'll start there. Goth stripe socks. I'm all over the place. Uh, these are by, they're two by two ribs, so it's basically, mm, <laughs> it's a toe up two by two rib, which is my favorite sort of construction. Um, the yarn is Inspiration Dye Works. And it is doing all the work. All I'm doing is just moving the needles back and forth because this yarn does all the talking. The colorway is goth stripe, and don't you love it? So it has the black, the red, and the purple stripes. I've done, I think, another repeat from the last time you saw this. So this is the second sock. The first sock is up to the ankle. But I want to get them closer to the same point, so this one's kind of on hold until I get this one finished. I'm knitting on US size ones, 2.25 millimeter needles. It works really well for this yarn, but I'm thinking that with my tension, I perhaps need to start knitting my socks on smaller needles. Oh, and isn't that lovely? A bunch of them came off the needles, a bunch of stitches, so I'm just going to pick them up real quick. So what to tell you about this sock? This is Parsnay. Um, I've been enjoying it. 
until I got mad at the baby blanket. I got mad at this and I was just like, I don't want to work on anything on the needles. I don't even want to knit. I'm just going to play Candy Crush all night and not knit at all. I threw away a night this week, which is just so random and odd for me. But the socks weren't speaking to me, the blanket wasn't speaking to me, the peasy wasn't speaking to me. At the dinosaur was at a point that needed way more brain than I have. And so I didn't knit that evening. <laughs> Do you ever have any evenings like, evenings like that? Yeah, so those are the goth socks. I will get back to them because I do love those colors. Like, just looking at them now after them being on hold for three days is making me be like, ooh, maybe I'll work on that tonight. Because the baby blanket yarn isn't here and I don't feel guilty, I have to knit something. Speaking of knitting something, last night after the movie was over, well, after the blanket was over but the movie was still going, I started working on a Christmas present. So this is, I'm not telling you who it's for. Uh, <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. This is, again, another 2x2 two two rib, toe up. That's my go-to. A uh, few extra stitches, because this person does have a wider foot. And the yarn is Patton's Croy. I'm going to say it's just Patton's Croy socks. So that's what it looks like in the skein. It's this beautiful pink, brown, mauve color. Have you noticed that this is like my go-to big box craft store yarn? I love it. I love working with it. I allow myself because I don't think okay the recommended needle size is US size 3 so I allow myself to use a 1.5 US needle instead of the one so I go up it, I treat it more like a sport weight sock but that's how it's coming so far I think she will like them but she won't see them till Christmas so and no Grammy fellows they are not for you <laughs> um Let's see, what else do I have to show you? The Peasy and the Grace are loveless. Yes. That's it for what's on my needles. I just have to show you one more thing that I'm thinking about knitting. Um, it's basically a mug cozy that my sister-in-law saw out online somewhere. And she sent me a, a message and was like, can you please knit this for me? She doesn't knit. She does Burjello, which is some sort of like cross stitch for pillows so she makes really pretty fancy pillowcases well she makes the pillows and then and does the casing for the outside of the pillow but so she asked me to make her one of these so I'm going to work on that for her but um lastly what else do I have to tell you about swimming lessons so we went yesterday morning and Steve came with us and he took some video so that's cool I'm going to insert them to share with you Roland was working on well Continuing from last week's blowing bubbles, we were working on that and we were working on rolling from your back to your stomach. So, you know, you could do a back float and then roll over and do a dog paddle. We don't call it a dog paddle, it's reach and pull because he doesn't, you know, he's young. Anyway, so we're blowing bubbles and I'm holding him out in front of me under his arms like this. So he's pretty close to my face. And we both have our faces down in the water. Can you picture this? And we're blowing bubbles. And he's trying, but he doesn't really like blowing bubbles. He'd much rather lick the water. And so we're blowing. I know he doesn't know what people do in the water. And we're working on this. And then he decides he's done. Because, you know, you blow bubbles, it kind of splashes a little. He decides he's done. And he reaches over and he starts putting his hand over my mouth. Over and over and over to the point where the instructor was coming over and she was laughing. She was trying to encourage and sing the songs and he's just like, no mommy, no more bubbles mommy. No, no. <laughs> so it was pretty cute. Pretty, pretty cute. But I don't know if that's what I'll put in, but there's lots of clips he took of swimming lessons. So,
see me in a bathing suit. <laughs> the things I could do from my audience. Alright, that's all you get. That's it. I'm done. I hope you have a great 10 days or so until I see you again. I love talking to you. Thank you for spending your time with me. Have a great 10 days or so. <laughs> Talk soon. Enjoy your knitting. Bye.